So right now I'm in Tokyo and I'm going to LA and I got upgraded to premium economy. So I'm super excited to try this out for the first time. Oh, and if you like my samurai shirt, check it out in the link below. Let's go. All right, so time to check out the Anna Lounge. This lounge is pretty freaking cool. There's just there's so much food here. The check-in was pretty seamless, and now we're here. I just want to get some food because I'm so hungry. Let's go do this. The meat bun. <sighs> Nothing like having a beer right before the flight. Fried chicken always goes well with a beer. Mm, that's some pretty decent fried chicken. And look, they've even got a noodle bar. Oh, and they even have pieces of ginger, which Michael loves. Me, not so much. Mm -hmm. That was a good slurp. And when I thought it was all done, they had sushi in the back with a sushi chef. I'm delightfully impressed with their food selection and wine range of alcohol options. And each seat has electric outlets. Dope! What I really appreciate about these premium economy seats is that you get access to this lounge which just like completely changes the experience overall. Freaking worth the upgrade up until now. Thank you, nice. sir. This is so much more space than economy. Cabin space. I'm digging the upper pockets to store my gadgets. And the tiny knob to hang stuff. Apple product connector socket and USB charger. I love this outlet so I can make my own charging station. 76 centimeters. 49 centimeters wide, 35 centimeters leg room. Can't complain about that. So I'm really loving this seat. I love how it reclines all the way back. I love how you can put your feet up and I just love the space in general. And it has a light right here too. Now one of the things that you know I wish they would improve on is the touch screen. The touch screen is like a little bit hard to touch. I found that you have to use your nail to actually get it to like work properly. It's not like as sensitive. Amenities. This is so nice. I got my Anna swag, I got my earplugs, I got my toothbrush, mask. Man, I'm ready to fly. You also get this excellent noise canceling headset, slipper, and a shoehorn. Feeling quite premium right now. In flight entertainment. I always look forward to watching new movies on flights, but unfortunately, this time their movie selection was just average and they didn't have much TV series either. Micah wasn't impressed by their programming as well. Please sit your table. Meal. So, food for the premium economy is the same as economy, so nothing fancy here, but you do get a few business class drink options like this champagne. Popping bottles in the sky. Not only does it have the sukiyaki, but it has a half boiled egg, vegetables, and has ginger, broccoli. Let's taste the sukiyaki. That's actually pretty good. And the meat is like a little bit chewy, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty decent. Now I'm like taking my second bite and like the meat is all gone. So I wish there was just a bit more meat for me to like actually enjoy the meal. Just the volume is not there. Let's try the egg. Like how it's just like, Children. Like you don't see an egg in real life doing this. Tastes like an egg. So you're supposed to eat sukiyaki with raw egg, but I think because this is a flight, people can't disturb raw eggs. They put a half cooked egg. This is still pretty nice. This one was like pretty interesting and like I'm kind of like excited to taste it. Whereas the other like side dishes are just like very, very standard and normal. You get an economy Haagen-Dazs ice cream and the business class sweets after dinner. 
So she said this was a lemon meringue. Let's taste. Oh. Oh. Guess I won't be using this pillow. So let's try the piece that actually didn't fall on my pants. Mmm. It's a little like soury. It's like a meringue. Oh, that's really delicious. I'm glad I got to eat at least one piece of that. That was nice. Try the cashews. Look at that. Mm. That is a first class dessert. It's like a little nice and tarty. Oh. Good morning, guys. This seat is so comfortable that I just slept for like hours and hours and it just woke me up for some breakfast. It's muffins, eggs, sausage, some tater tots. Let's take our first morning breakfast bite. Let's try the sausage, because that's like the best part. That's a decent sausage. Ah, it looks pretty runny still, which is nice. I, I like my eggs runny. That's pretty good. Not a lot of flavor, but it has an egg consistency. The toast is not that bad. It, like, it looks like it's like already been buttered. Oh. That toast tastes like a brick. It's hard and stale. I'm just gonna stick to the fruit. Kiwi. The kiwi tastes like apple and pineapple. And there's like an apple and pineapple in here. So I think it's like been sitting there together that like the flavors have mixed around. Definitely worth just sticking to the fruit. And this is the grilled fish option. I'm eating this because Michael doesn't want hers. Looking pretty good. The grilled fish is pretty tasty. It's well seasoned. It's still actually very moist. Try the egg. It has like bits and pieces I think of like onions and maybe carrots. And it's a little bit sweet, which is nice, but not too sweet. The grilled fish is the winner for breakfast. The flight attendants were super friendly and polite. They routinely came around and asked if I wanted a drink. Bottoms up! So I really appreciate the fact that they gave me a toothbrush just at breakfast. And now I get to brush my teeth and get ready for LA. Alright, that wasn't bad. Alright, so that concludes my review of Anna Airlines. What do you guys think? Was it worth it? The premium economy seat was super awesome and the service was even better. Freaking great!